The import and export statements allow you to break up your code in different files or modules. Though this is an official ES6 feature, it is not implemented in any browsers natively at this time, but it is implemented in many transpilers such as Babel and Webpack. The export statement is used to export functions, objects, or primitives from a given file or module. You can have multiple named exports in one file like this. So imagine this is all one file, lib.js, and these are all the exports. We can export a constant, we can export a function, and see these all have different names. Then you can import the functions, objects, or primitives in another file. So here we're going to import part of this module in another file named main.js. This can be done individually or all together. Here we're importing the exports individually. We're importing just square and diag. So up here we're not importing the square root constant up here. However, you could also import the complete module. So this is how you would do that. To import the complete module, you just do import asterisk as lib from lib. So now instead of calling the functions directly with square and diag, we're going to do lib.square lib.diag. But now we'll also be able to directly access the square root constant by doing lib.square root. You can also import with different names. So if you have a really long function name, you just put import really really long module member name as short name. Now you can just access it by just typing short name instead of the much longer name that it was originally in the other file. Now what I've shown you so far are called named exports because we're exporting things with specific names. Square root, export square. There's another export syntax called export default. Usually you're going to use this syntax if only one value is being exported from a file. It is also used to create a fallback value for a file or module. With export default, you can only have one value be a default export in each module or file. At the beginning of your file, we're saying this is myfunc.js, you're going to put export default and then the function, or you can put a class here, and then the entire function or class you want to export goes right in these curly braces. So this is going to be your whole file with all the code right in here. One thing to remember is that you don't put a semicolon at the end. And then when you're importing it, so we're imagining this is another file called main1.js, and when you import it, it's a little different because when you're importing a single default export, there are no curly braces around the name. So I'm going to import my func, and you can see that's different from up here where you put curly braces around the names of what you're importing. Also you can see the name my funk is not up here so we're actually giving it a name in this other file and then we can call that function here well thanks for watching my name is Bo Carnes don't forget to subscribe and remember use your code for good